Okay guys, as we start heading towards autumn, fall, pumpkin spice lardes, my favourite, um, I've decided to pick up some transitional goodies uh, from New Look, so if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, stay tuned. and welcome to my channel hello if you're new here i'm becky and i do a plus size fashion alongside a little bit of beauty and a little bit of lifestyle um so if that sounds like your cup of tea um then maybe you would like to subscribe to my channel it is free to subscribe and it just let you know um as and when I upload, I upload every Tuesday and Thursday and sometimes there's a little bonus video on the weekend and it will just let YouTube know that you're interested in seeing my videos a little bit more on your homepage. Um, and obviously hello uh, to all my regulars. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I would love it if you give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment down below on your favorite piece from this haul. I always love to know. Uh, just to be 100% uh, transparent transparent all the links are affiliate and that just means that I get a small kickback um, from the retailer but it doesn't cost you anything out so anything else <laughs> so it's a great way uh, for you to support my channel without it literally costing you a penny and I really really appreciate it also with it being autumn and my favorite season I am uploading um, a lot more on my Instagram my Instagram is at Becca Wren um, so feel free to give me a little follow there. I am going for it now, guys. Um, and so you'll see a kind of a bit more of kind of like how I style outfits, um, you know, with accessories, how I pair things, etc. Um, rather than just trying on um, individual pieces like I do in these videos. So I would love to see you there. So guys, as usual, I ordered so much that it came in two baggies. Um, so let's get them open and see what goodies I picked up because I can't remember. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna start off with a little outfit. Um, so first off, I picked up something very basic and very boring. It's some black skinny jeans because I don't have any. <laughs> um, I know, oh my God, sorry, itchy nose guys. Ah. Um, so yeah, basically all my black skinny jeans either are too small or have gone grey. It happens. I like my black skin jeans to be black. Um, so I've ordered a couple of, of pairs across some different haul videos and it's just going to give us an idea on how different brands fit differently. How exciting. Um, so I got these in a 26 because I have put on a little bit of weight guys. Um, I have definitely got a bit bigger on my bottom half. I'm probably I'm probably a size 25 if I'm honest. Um, 26 in skinny jeans is a little bit big, um, but 24 is a bit tight. <laughs> so I'm in that kind of like weird space. These do look quite small though. Great stretch in the body, but quite. There's still a little bit of stretch, but less stretch in the waistband. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. One thing I did note though, they don't do length um and i know yours clothing i'll leave that up in the eye um they do lengths and i do like rolling up my jeans but i really want to get a black pair that i don't have to roll up so we'll have to see how long these are um so these are in a 26 regular um they're just called the denim skinny they're 68 percent cotton 27 percent polyester recycled uh three percent viscose and two percent elastane and um, they do look quite long i'm five six but i do have shorter legs i've got quite a long torso so interesting to see oh they've got some like powder on them or something Hmm, okay, uh, but they're kind of just like your regular jean. You've got all your pockets and your belt loops um, and a zip fly. So that's what I'm going to be trying on all the tops with. And speaking of tops, um, look at this colour. I never go for red. I'm very like red averse. Red adverse. Um, whew, it's almost 
pink. This is so bright and I just wanted to step out my comfort zone a little bit. Um, but this is really, really pretty. Um, it's kind of like red fuchsia. It is very, very bright, but so pretty. And it's in a classic silhouette that we all know and love. Um, it's kind of like a little bit of a peplum and um, with some nice puffy sleeves. Um, just thought that this could even venture into kind of festive territory. <laughs> I know, like Christmas is like, how many months away now? Four. Oh my God, four months of Christmas. <laughs> So we've got elastic um, around these sleeves here, a tie back detail. So if you do put your hair up, that will look really pretty. And I think with the black jeans, this will look stunning. Um, there's no stretch in the front, but there is in the back of the waistband. I like that detail. Um, and also on the arm cuffs of the puffy sleeves. Just think this was so, so pretty. Um, this was 19.99 with new look you can tend to get like coupon codes around and I got this in a 24 which I think looks pretty reasonably sized to me this is 54% cotton and 46% polyester I always get my numbers mixed up um, it just feels really nice quality looks really cute love the color very bold very fun um, but I also think this will be really flattering and just a really nice outfit with those black skinny jeans so let's try these on so first let's talk off about the jeans um so a similar situation to the ASOS ones uh, I don't know if the ASOS haul is out yet but <laughs> hint hint there are some black skinny jeans in there I think I actually prefer these ones these are actually a lot higher waisted than the ASOS ones um but again <coughs> sorry um i just the length i just want them slightly shorter um just because if i'm wearing shoes they're gonna bunch and it's just not gonna be a cute look definitely want them in a 30 leg rather than the 32 um but yeah they're a nice jean definitely prefer these over the asos um i'm gonna see if they do them in a shorter leg i have a feeling they don't that's why I know with these ones. Um, yeah, I think as I said before, I think I'm gonna try the Yours clothing ones because they do really good leg lengths. They do like all the sizes, all the leg length, um, they're great. So stay tuned for that haul because I'm sure it'll be coming soon. As for this top, oh my Lord, it was so hard to get on. I don't know why this is so small. Um, I don't know if it's because of the tie at the back or what but it was just everything is just tight tummy area is tight chest is tight even the sleeves is a bit tight i'm really disappointed in this top i was trying to go out my comfort zone with trying a different color and i, I was, think the color's great i love the yeah, color yeah and i was I relying on the material i was relying on the silhouette being quite like a you know it's meant to be quite flattering and actually it's just really really tight and suffocating so definitely size up in this um it's the yeah. back rebecca at the top there's always a little tie across i don't know if you could loosen the tie up but then it's still going to be tight around here i'd definitely size up in this um yeah love the color but hate I hate the fit. Um, then we have another top. I always think kind of like check and stuff like that looks really, really cute for like um, autumn. And this just gave me like major autumn vibes with this kind of Peter Pan collar. I just thought it was so cute. This is really nicely oversized. It's quite flowy and quite smocky. Has got a bit of a drop hem down here this is in a 24 and it's really really generously sized and i think this is so so pretty it's also got a really nice bit of stretching as well um and it has got a little button um but with elastic as well if you need to um get your head in i feel like that is quite a big head hole i say that now and i probably won't get my head for it um, but I think it's really really cute and just like a comfortable style to wear if you know what I mean this is for like every day I feel like new look really gets like every day like basics down um, or just a little bit elevated with like a really nice print or pattern but they always make sure the material is really nice nice and comfortable um, 
This is 99% polyester and 1% elastane. Um, again, got this in a 24 and this was 17.99, which I think is actually very reasonable. I think this will just be really comfortable and really cute on. This um, with some skinny jeans and some boots and a nice coat would look so, so nice. So let's try this on now. So completely different vibe to the last top, exactly the same size and yet, you know, this is perfect. Obviously this is a more oversized smocky top, but this is the kind of sizing I would expect for that. So don't know what was going on with that last top, um, but this one's really comfortable. This is worn one of these kind of items of clothing that I call period clothes. <laughs> This is when you're on your period and you don't want to be, um, you don't want to be constricted. You know, you've got the bloat, you've got the cramps. You just want something that you can put on, that you look cute in. Say you've got to go, you still got to go into the office. They don't give you no time off for those cramps. <laughs> you've still got to go into the office, but you're in pain. <laughs> this is the kind of thing to throw on. It's super, super comfy, super flowy, not constricting at all. Here is a close up. There's a real nice amount of little stretch as well. Even though it's oversized, it's also stretched too. Oh, and I also love the collar. It's a little Peter Pan collar. I really like this top. Oh, so I think it looks really pretty on you. And I think with black skinny jeans, I always say, if you've got a baggy top, go for skinny bottoms. If you've got a skinny top, go for baggy bottoms. Cause it will just like balance you out. Um, so yeah. Also I think with black and white, you can always pair fun lipstick or fun accessories with, um, or just go for a full on monochrome look. So yeah, I think this is really nice. Um, definitely pick this over that red top. <laughs> Then this next piece just screamed autumn to me. It's this gorgeous button down the middle um, dress with these little um, stretchy side panels. We've seen a lot of dresses like this with the buttons down the middle. Um, uh, this one I just thought was so fabulous, so pretty. Um, I love these types of dresses. They're really, really flattering. Even if you are <laughs> bottom heavy like myself, I'm definitely kind of like an appley pear type body um and these do look straight but because you have these like secret smock panels on the side it really does help um so i really do recommend giving these a go i do size up though just because they're buttons um i like to be a bit on the safe side this was 25.99 and i got this in a 26 but look at these beautiful colors guys i know it's a floral and i kind of hark on about florals being boring in the plus size world but at the same time I like them. <laughs> I know, what a contrary Mary. Um, but I just thought this is so autumnal. Um, just you could pair beautiful eyeshadows with this. Um, and you could even wear like boots underneath, which I think would look really, really nice. Um, and you could pair it with a nice chunky cardigan, one of those like classic like autumn fedoras. Oh my gosh, I love that that look i love it so much um autumn's just like my favorite favorite time it's such a vibe this is a hundred percent viscose um i think this was definitely one of my favorite things that i put in my basket um so yeah let's try it on i hope it looks as nice as i'm imagining so here's this um button down dress i did get this in a 26 and it's still actually quite snug um, I believe the ones at yours were like double size, so like 26, 28, and that fit me a lot better. This does fit me, but I wouldn't feel comfortable sitting down in it, especially as these are real buttons. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's the fit. Very, very snug. I do think it gives me a really nice shape. Mm, yeah. Um, but yeah, just the sitting down and actually like living in this dress, I think would be an issue. You always got to be practical, ladies. Um, I love the print though. I think it's super, super autumnal, really, really pretty. You have these little kind of like secret stretchy kind of panels on the sides, which I really like. Clever that. I just prefer the sizing of the yours one. Um, I'll leave the video linked in the description. Um, yeah, this one's just a bit too tight. I think I'd have to get a 28 in it, um, which yeah, is like, two sizes up with the dress size I'd normally get. 
um, so just bear that in mind but I do think it's really really pretty you are just gonna have to size up the quality of the material feels really nice though um, yeah <laughs> Um, so up next we've just got these trousers um, these are like these stretchy kind of like leggy rib trousers um, and they've got this split down the front um, I just thought these would be really really comfortable if I'm honest um, I got a pair I tried on a pair from ASOS the collusion range it was in my collusion video I'll try and pop that up there if I remember. Um, and I like them, but they were way, 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 way too big. Um, and these ones have a split on the front, which I prefer. The other ones were backwards. Um, so saw these and I thought I'd give them a go. The only thing is the waistband like isn't completely sewn in all the way round. Um, I don't know if they've done that on purpose. I did get these in a 26. Not sure why I did get them in such a big size considering they're stretchy. Um, these are 17.99. I probably definitely could have got them in a 24 because they're pretty really stretchy. Um, again, interesting to see how these will do on my short little legs. These are 97% polyester and 3% elastane. These are my favourite feeling material in the world. Um, I kind of, I should have looked to be honest, always look at fabric composition when you're shopping online um, or have me tell you, I always tell you what things are made of. Um, I wish these were cotton, more like a legging material. Um, so not 100% sure on these, have to see how they look, but I think with trousers, I do tend to steer away from the man-made materials because they do make you warmer and they do make you sweat. <laughs> I'm not gonna say any more, but I'm gonna try this on right now. Um, so here are these trousers. Um, yeah, the silhouette, I've spoken to mom about this already. The silhouette's really nice and I really wanna find some trousers exactly like this. I am not wearing trousers that are polyester. Um, you know, polyester is a man-made material and it's not moisture wicking. Um, it actually makes you hotter. And as a plus size lady, you know. <laughs> and I just think, even if you're just wearing them for an evening, it's just gonna get uncomfortable in this region. <laughs> um, I don't mind wearing polyester skirts or dresses because they're not going anywhere. <laughs> but trousers, I should have looked at the label. I really want these in kind of more of kind of like either like a thicker jersey or um, a cotton blend. Um, so yeah, they look really cool, but I'm just not. The material, it just feels kind I of- I really see it. It's like a ribbed material. Yeah, I can't see it, unfortunately. Well, like, you anyway, do. whatever. I have to imagine. So if you guys have picked up a pair of these like split front trousers, um, but in like a cotton or something, let me know. Um, I think the style is really fun and I really want to get some like flare bell bottom black bottoms, but I'm just not having much luck. So yeah, I think if you don't mind polyester, go for these, <laughs> but for me, it's a, it's a no-go so yeah let me try those trousers on with what i'm going to show you next um so this is actually oh my god how do i open this bag like a maze um this is a basic but i was intrigued by it it looked an ele like i said new look and they're elevated basics oh okay i love this i love um, so it's just a long line white t-shirt but it's got this kind of handkerchief hem with this split how nice so it's definitely got like a trapeze um look to the t-shirt so that just means that if you are bottom heavy like myself um it's gonna kind of be a bit more forgiving to the hips to the tum whatever your situation is and also the slit will also help a little bit as well. This was 9 99 I did get this in a 26 because I do like my things to be a little bit bigger. Um, I think this would be perfect with um, jeans 
if I have time, I will try and show you them with the jeans and with those trousers. Um, but I just think this is a really great basic. It's um, some, it's a long line top, which we all love, um, but also just something a little bit different about it. Just makes it a bit more exciting. Um, and people go, oh, that's a nice white top. Where did you get that from? Very different. 100% cotton as well. This is one of actually, again, I love that dress, but I also really love this too. Um, yeah let's try it on we love a long line top and i like a white t-shirt white t-shirts just look so crisp and chic especially if they're not creased like most of my stuff is ah, i'm so i hate ironing i never iron and everything gets creased so yeah anyway let's pop those on now um, so guys, this is the item I think I was most excited about trying on. Um, I know it's like really basic, but I do think like white t-shirts with something like a little bit extra is always nice to have, just spice up the basics a bit. Um, I did get to the 26, I'm glad that I did. I think a 24 would have been too tight, but I know you guys are gonna love the <laughs> length. It's an extra, excellent length. Um, that I think looks really good with the skinny jeans. This is a kind of top that you can throw those kind of like um, plaid, like autumn vibe jackets over. Um, it's really, really nice. It's a bit more like a cotton t-shirt rather than like a jersey type top, if you know what I mean. Um, like a lot of those kind of oversized tops from Boohoo have this kind of like jersey cool material. Whereas this is more of like a t-shirt material, which I really like. So yeah, this top definitely gets a big thumbs up for me. I think they also did this in black as well. I do like a white t-shirt though. I just think they look really, really chic. This one is just a bit different and excellent length. So a big thumbs up from me. So end of bag one, we've got this leopard print something. Is it, is it a shirt? Is it a dress? We'll find out. Oh, it's a dress. Now this is cute and it's a bargain. Um, so this is just this really cute leopard print dress with um, button down the top and then we've got a bit of a skater skirt bottom um, and we've got long sleeves. This was only $17.99. What a bargain. If, again, if you work in an office, we're all starting to migrate back into the offices. Um, I'm kind of happy about it. Also kind of sad though, because the cost of commutes is disgusting. <laughs> um, I am planning on moving back to London, but I've actually decided to delay it a little bit. So I'm just gonna be commuting on the train. Um, but stuff like this is great because really, really affordable, but also quite comfortable. Um, and also you could totally style this. Uh, can you hear the boiler? Sorry if you can hear the boiler. We've got a lot of sounds, we've got fans, we've got cruise ships outside. Last week we had a pigeon going on for the whole of the video. All I could hear while editing was cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, that pigeon is the star of the show. Um, oh no, the boiler's getting really loud, isn't it? So sorry about that, guys. Um, it's because I film, like, it's right, anyway, I, I've, you've heard it all before. Um, this is 100% polyester. I did get this in a 26 because it did have buttons. Oh my gosh, that is getting louder and louder and louder as I speak. Um, there is no stretch in this dress. Um, it is made with recycled polyester as well. I always, with like anything with buttons, I always do size up, but this looks a really great size. Let's try it on. Um, so here is this little kind of like half shirt, half skater dress. I think for the price, this was $17.99. It's an absolute bargain, especially if you do work in an office where you have to kind of dress maybe a bit more smart. Sometimes smart clothes aren't really suitable for plus size bodies but i think this could be a really nice alternative would highly recommend sizing up though so you don't have any pulling in the bust um this is just about laying flat on me and if you do have a bigger bust than me you might even want to consider going up another size um but it's it's fitting really nicely it's not tight anywhere i think that's because i have sized up um one more but i think it's an excellent length i think if you wore some tights with it maybe with 
you know, little heels or boots or something, it'd be perfect for work. But you could definitely dress this up as well um, if you were saying like going to town to cocktail hour. So if you can have an ice cream van, um, it's currently in our neighbourhood, which is really helpful. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think maybe if you paired a little like belt with it or something, if you were going out, um, that would look super cute. So quite versatile. It is a really fun um, like cheetah print. I do like animal print. I never realised how much I liked it until I started ordering so much of it. Um, and also it's kind of a black and beige colour scheme. So won't offend too many people at work. Overall, I think this is a really great buy, um, especially if it's for your work, work, work wardrobe. And um, so yeah, thumbs up from me. Don't forget to size up once though. We're in the second bag now. Um, it was really weird. I got these next day delivery, but one came next day and then I was like, oh, that, it was a tiny bag. It was like this bag, super small. And I was like, oh, that's not, that's not on my order. So I messaged them and then the next day, another bag turned up. Um, oh, this is, again, I was trying to pick colors that I don't normally pick. So this is a really gorgeous, um faux wrap top um faux wraps are very flattering on loads of people um very forgiving and it does have a little bow tie around with these gorgeous like red fly poppies they look quite poppy-ish or like i'm gonna go with poppy um we have some greenery um nice little short cuff elasticated sleeve there um, we've got elastication in the waistband and a peplum, which we all know and love. Um, I got this in a 24. This was 15.99, which I think is pretty reasonable. And you could definitely dress this up or dress it down. Um, this with blue jeans, just for like day to day, I thought would be absolutely stunning. But you could definitely dress this up with some black, um, like cigarette trousers or black skinny jeans. Um, maybe throw on a heel if you're into your heels a bit of jewelry maybe a red lipstick of course to go with the flowers i just thought it would it, you could do a lot with this um really really pretty and also it's going to be absolutely flattering and also if you've got cleavage if you've got boobies um <laughs> that would be amazing let's try it on um so this is how i was expecting that red top to fit um this is perfect um it's it's fitting perfectly you want a kind of a bit of tightness around the boobs to show off the goods and um, you've got a nice floaty peplum and then you have a little tie as well so it kind of looks like a a mock wrap top and the sleeves um aren't tight like that other top no idea what's going on with that red top um, but this is sized perfectly i think it looks really really stunning with the black jeans um, and the red flowers are so pretty. Definitely, like, I don't wear a lot of red, so I thought I would try and pick up a couple more pieces in red because I just got myself a really bougie um, Louboutin lipstick from TK Maxx. <laughs> if, you like, uh, if you like your fancy makeup, do get down and have a look in TK Maxx because we, we found a lot of Christian Louboutin lipsticks, didn't we, Mum? We certainly did. And we treat, we <laughs> certainly. Yeah. Cost me a bit of money there, it but was, not as much as if I yeah, paid full it price. Yeah, they were such bargains. Um, I think they're around £73 full price in Harrods. Um, in TK Maxx, they were 25 uh, So I've got the classic red obviously you know i don't have any actual Louboutin shoes but i've got the lipstick <laughs> um so i think that lipstick would look so nice with this red um it's just a really comfortable really pretty top obviously if you have got a bigger chest you can maybe show a little bit of cleavage it's just really nice i really like this top could also be quite good for the office maybe if you like tacked it or pinned it i i think i could get away with how it is now to be honest because i don't have the biggest boobs in the world but I just think this is really nice, maybe for like a date night um, or something like that. It's really flattering, really pretty. These huge, beautiful red flowers. So nice. I thought the pattern on this dress was just really interesting. Ooh, I didn't know it had this on the back. Um, so here is this dress, it's like blue like melting polka dots. Just thought it was really, really cool, really, really different. Um, but I didn't realize it's got these tie 
details in the back. Um, so probably not the best for autumn and winter because you'll get a cold back. You can also just pop a little vest top underneath and it'll be fine. Um, again, we've got um, kind of smocked elasticated sleeves and this is definitely like a midi, mid-axi length. We'll have to see when I try it on. Um, it is a stiff material. So I'm guessing it's 100% polyester. This isn't a size 24, but it, it looks really, really big. Um, and this was only 19.99. I feel like th this is a bit of a bargain. Um, really unusual print. And we have got a bit of drop hem down here. She looks more just like a hem, like a frilly hem. This is 100% polyester, very nice and like lightweight and I feel like it's going to be quite smocky and baggy, maybe? Interesting to see how this goes, stay tuned! Um, so here is this dress and I appreciate that they're doing something different, um, I just don't know if this is the right pattern or colour on me. Um, it's very, very blue, <laughs> and I don't actually wear like a lot of like blue, blue. Um, I think maybe if you had like um, olive, tan, or like a deeper skin tone, this would look really, really nice on you. But it's just not really throwing my boat. Um, overall, it fits pretty nicely. I with the ties on the back. I think you will need to like loosen them a bit because it was a real struggle to get this over my head. Let me show you the the back anyway pretty cool back design i think if this dress was just in like a black i'd really like it um here is a close-up of the print really really unusual and different i think maybe if it was a top rather than a full dress i'd probably like it a little bit more um it is just it's just a lot on on me and my skin tone uh, so i love the dress style um just the pattern isn't for me but if you love the pattern and you love the style go for it so guys that is the end of today's video i'd like to say a thank you to my special guest the boiler <laughs> making the noisy appearance it usually does um new look is always great for your basics um it just they, they they have really good jeans they have really good t-shirts they're really good for a t-shirt and they always tend to do them quite long lined um you're not going to get i think the most cutting edge crazy styles with new look um but if you're just looking to kind of like revamp your wardrobe a little bit um get some of some really good basics in and then new looks the place to go and i feel like new looks really good for work wear pieces as well a lot of like shirts and kind of a bit more like smart casual type clothes um so yeah hopefully you found that video helpful hopefully there were some nice pieces in there that you guys might like to pick up um i will keep an eye on the website i feel like autumn stuff is slowly starting to creep online um but i'm sure i'll be doing another haul very very soon uh, let me know if there's any other places uh, you would like me to do a haul from um i can always um consider them and try and get an order in um but yeah um i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it and you haven't yet please think about subscribing i really appreciate it um and also you'll just see more of my videos how fabulous um if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the like button and leave me a little comment down below um i hope you're all staying safe and well and i'll catch you in the next one guys bye